Hey friends, do you remember a long time ago we talked about things that would float in the water and things that would sink? Today, we're going to talk about that again and let's read the story Floating and Sinking. I see the author's name on the bottom there, Amy Hansen. Hmm. I don't see an illustrator's name. I wonder if that means this is an informational book. Let's find out. Floating and Sinking by Amy S. Hansen. Ah, no illustrator. That means this is an informational book. There's our table of contents. Tells us everything that we're going to read about in the story. Let's see. What floats? What sinks? Drop a dry cork in the water. What happens? It floats. Remember, floats means it's at the top of the water. Now drop a penny. It sinks. What makes one of them float and one of them sink? Hmm, can you guess before we read on? Why does the cork float and the penny sink to the bottom? Hmm. Take a close look at the cork. Can you see tiny holes? Those holes trap air. Air is lighter than water. Hmm, what is density? Tiny air pockets are one of the things that make cork have less density than water. Anything that has less density than water will float. That means a cup full of corks weighs less than a cup full of water. Hmm, can you think of something else that has less density than water that might float on the top just like the cork did? Hmm. Let's read on. Now look at the penny. The penny is made of metal. Metal does not have the same little holes. Most metal has greater density than water. Anything that has greater density than water will sink. That means a cup full of pennies weighs more than a cup full of water because of density. Hmm. Can you think of something else like the pennies that might have greater density than water and will sink to the bottom just like the penny did when we looked at the first page? Let's read on. Does it float? Test some other things. Will a carrot float or sink? What do you think? How about marshmallows? Will they float or sink? If you guessed that a carrot would sink and marshmallows would float, you're correct. How did you know? Which has less density than water and which has greater density than water? Hmm. Why do boats float? Other things float. Boats float. Some boats are made of metal. The metal penny sank. So why do boats float? This canoe skims the top of the water. What would make it sink lower? Hmm. Boats float because of their shape. Boat builders bend the metal to make a big air pocket. The air pocket lets the boat float. A canoe has one big air pocket instead of many tiny air pockets like corks or marshmallows. Big ships float too. A ship's air pockets are big enough to float the ship and the heavy cargo that it carries. The end. Can you think of some other items that might float or sink? Hmm. Why don't you do an experiment and let us know?